guys welcome to my channel i hope you guys are doing well we made it to december we have so much to be grateful for probably you did not achieve your goals probably you did probably you're doing so great in life and i'm happy for you and i'm happy that you're winning but if you're still feeling iffy about the year you know what you're alive you're kicking and you made it to december and that's a lot Hell a lot to be grateful for. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Now, November has a speed tide, and you know November is sales month. Like every store has discounts on discounts on discounts. Now, I took I did take advantage of the Black Friday sales that were going around the uh, going around town. Bought a couple of things for myself, but some of these items are not were not on sale, but they are absolutely absolutely gorgeous. And I've noticed that I've bought a lot of pieces that will be so useful in January when it's like super super hot and you just need to be naked but not really naked <laughs> so I, I feel like a lot of these pieces will be so functional they're not right now when it's just gloomy and chilly but i feel like in january drip will be happening um so i want to show you all my favorite pieces worth every single coin in my opinion and probably you pick up something that you love probably you find this item still on sale if you're lucky or you find an item that you think it's worth splurging on so i want to show you everything and mostly it's just style uh, beauty and a bit of home decor. So let's get into the video. The first store that I took my two little legs to was Platform because I watched this is video saying how you need to go to two rivers. They have all these crazy sales, and I've always wanted. I've always loved Platform, but because you get like Zara items, Pull and Bear, Bashka, very nice European brands, but like at a really really good price. So I've always wanted to get like a lot of items from Zara, but funny enough, from, not from Zara, but from Platform. But every time I go there, I only get like one item. Like in my entire life of going to Platform, I bought two items in Billy. This top, which wasn't even on sale, because I was trying to take advantage of the Black Friday sales that the Two Rivers Mall was having and all their stores there, but I didn't get anything that was my taste in uh, at Platform. If you did, comment down below and tell me what you got, because me, I searched. I searched and my eyes did not see anything, but I got this backless top. It's Zara um, for 1500 snake print. You know, this year we have been obsessing with snake print. And so every time I see snake print, I'm just like, yep, yep, that's <laughs> it's everything I do because it's absolutely mine. Um, the trick about this one is I don't think you can wear it with a normal bra because I think it's a ribu design because it just cascades down your back really pretty. But so you could always go braless or tape as kim kardashian has been teaching us or you could just get those invest in those bras that are not that are also backless if i'm making any sense so yeah that's top number one so then i took my cute little ass to lcy kiki now one of these items i did not get them during the sale i got them when when i got them a while back i think i had just been paid like two months ago and i was like who i was entering stores like do you need my bank account because here, take it. Can I tell you guys something? I love style, but I do not own some basics. Like blazers, I really don't have any blazer. Even in black, like I do not have. But when I saw this long, sort of like A-line uh, blazer from LC Waikiki, I knew I had to get it. A little bit pricey. 4350 I think was the price point. I think that's a bit pricey because the blazer is not even ilia material. It's very light, very chiffon, but what drew me to it was the long line design of it and also the um what is it called the fact the color the pastel pink colors this is the a-line feel of it see what i mean it like i feel like it takes you from oh the checks no 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 they're not being signed by anybody else it's that girl in the pink blazer. Can you allow her to sign all your checks? No, no, she's the only one who's paying all of you today. <laughs> talk to her, talk to her. The girl in the pink blazer, yes, please. It's absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. I said for the price point, no. But I went back, by the way, and because they had two colors. They had one in a pastel blue color and then this pink color. And the pastel blue, in case you're interested, it's still available. Uh, I went to the LC Waikiki at Side Center. I think that's the LC Waikiki. I've seen these blazers. And that one was actually down from the 4,000 and something. It's now 3,400 and something. So if you like this and you like the pastel blue color, it could be your lucky day and it actually comes in like a matching not really matching but you could get pants that are the same color so it looks like you have like a cute vibe going on if you're interested probably you should take your little self to lc Waikiki, the one at sari center to be specific you could probably get these items um still in lc waikiki 
You know, again, I am obsessed na meals. I don't know what's been happening with me guys but nime choshwa na heels as in no longer to have heels na shindwa did Jesus die for me to struggle in heels for an entire day? I don't know. It may, talk and it might last, I'm fully aware it might last a day. And tomorrow I'll probably be buying all the heels that I can see along the street. But for today and this moment and now, heels, zinani chosha. Comment down below if you're still into heels. I'm as enough chosha kama mini. So, well, at Elsie Ray Kiki, I copped this mules. I am obsessed with mules, if you don't know. Um, if you're an OG of this channel, you know mules. But I got them in a low heel. I have been seeing very, it's, I think this style is very European or not. Well, uh, very French girls, very Italian girls wearing this, and they look absolutely like. Should I send you? I feel like it has that effortless, like you didn't even try too much, you just look absolutely beautiful in them. And again, these shoes, when I first saw them, I think like three months ago. They were going for 2000 and something 2300 and something and i was like I, maybe that's a bit too expensive for me uh but right now when the sale has been happening at elsewhere here and i think owing to the black friday sale i got them like for a thousand bob and 300 so it was around 13 something which i think is an absolutely good price for this i started on the lt mill cinema design to navia to love to move to do kwa ngo kido kido baby to india for beauty now um again as i told you guys i've noticed that i'm preparing for january subconsciously by buying like a lot of of summer wardrobes Kenyan summer wardrobe like things that will be very useful and very functional when the Sun comes out and comes out with all its guns blazing I picked up this two pair of two pairs of sandals from Iqueta really cute Iqueta is a Kenyan brand that has very very nice African kind of vibish sandals so if you're looking for such cute things I suggest you probably head on down to Iqueta there at the Westgate pop up mall i think and they have really really gorgeous sandals i think my favorites are this one um i think they would look really really nice in like a branch dress a nice kind of white flowy dress very simple shift dresses i'm ready i'm ready for the weather um let's get back to cool i am going back to the coast after like 10 years the last time i was there was 2009 <laughs> so i have been excited of course but um i picked up a few items from shop new level i've really been digging like the new summary summary kind of vibish um collection that they have i picked up the twirl top this is i picked this one in this color i feel like it will be very functional even in the coast and then when you come back here you attend a kiwak i'm gonna be in a predict jewel of because it could come here january february march I will freeze. <laughs> um, I picked up this tall top and also the kimono. Um, this one was on sale, so I picked it up during their Black Friday sale. I think it was 2900 and something. Um, and then this one was 25 I think they'll look really. I am digging this print, Kapisa. And now this kimono, it touches the ground so well. So when I get to the coast, you see those slow -mo videos people do i love you just to paint yourself like this that's gonna be me at the coast like you'll just see a lot of slow -mo videos and twirling around so yeah um still on codes yep yep took advantage of the black friday sale i have been obsessed with this white legged pants from siri studio if you have been following me for a while you know the blue ones are a staple for me i have let me get them during the sale i imagine i got i bought two and it was 2500 now i think the regular price is usually 4500 when i had it it was 2500 because i've been eyeing to get this pants but in different colors so when i had it was 2500 like i told because we were with my friend Wira, i was like Wira, i don't care i'm buying an, an extra pair i'm buying two i don't care i don't care i don't care i'm buying two so i got this ones in like a wine red color and i also got black ones i think Niliziva sometime last week so they are dirty but you know what they are going so yeah i added onto my collection of white legged pants now i've been they have like another white one um they have different colors that i also want to add i feel like these pants are such a staple so i'm um, eyeing they have like pastel colors they have a nice pink pastel color they have a nice blue pastel color and also white so that's the aim i want to add on to those and i feel like they'll never go out of style because like this one's they got them two years ago yeah around 2017 and every time i wear them everyone is like oh my god those pants are so nice so cute where did you get them where did you get them? so that can already tell you that you will get number one a lot of wear out of them and number two that they never go out of style they're still as cute as 
when I bought them. A little bit of accessories. I don't know. I'm the kind of girl who goes through moods and shifts. Um, so like there was a time like all I wanted on my ears were those small earrings, those two dot ones that are barely, they're very minimal, like simple color, very gold, very nothing, like don't give me, I, I even like, I hated loops, I did, like disliked everything that was not two dots. But now I feel like I'm into the hoops phase and I'm into the hoops, like very gold hoops. So I picked up a pair from Woolworths. This, they came as a pair, but this is how they look. Um, I got this one. I think I bought essentially for this one because I found this one so cute. Um, and then, but they came, the set also came with this one. So I was like, ah, this is not bad. And it has like a very good angle towards the hoop idea, which I do not mind. Also picked up this one from Mr. Price during their Black Friday sale. 200 bob. Not so bad. Not so bad. So I, right now I'm obsessed with hoops. And I'm sure it's Aisha. But next week, you only need to eat please. No, no, you can get your face, you can get a small ear gift. Also this cute little bag which was a gift from my sister for my birthday from Zara. I saw this from, what's her name, Charlie's page. She's also a YouTuber but from the UK, Nigeria. I saw it from her page and I immediately told my sister, you remember that gift your birthday? Well now, 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 this is the time you repay. Um, so this. I am such a huge fan of small little bags. Like you see, even the one Liza was carrying, like I'm the type to carry those small bags. Anything like as smaller as it gets, that's my kind of thing. So black, very nice. It has this so that you could move to cross body, whichever you prefer, or if you prefer like like a small minimal vibe of it, whichever you prefer. Right. Let's do a bit of beauty because I have been loving a couple of things and I want to share that with you. I was thoroughly impressed. I've been using the MAC setting spray for such a long time. But so, young with Kaisha, I'm going to end up with refill to ready to use my 2800 because I know a bottle goes for 2k and 800 more. So, but I found like they had like a really, really nice um, discount if you'd like to call it. So, they were giving you two setting spray one two setting sprays one is a matte finish and the other one is a gold light finish and two of this the whole pack of this was going for three thousand nine hundred which is so if you do the math it's like you're getting each for 1950 if my math serves me right instead of 2800 and i was like hey this price will never come back again or this offer may never come back again so let me take both so in case you need a matte finish, you will have this setting spray. Or in case you need that light uh, gold-ish finish, you have this. The shimmery finish, the glowy, sh the glowy finish, you have this. I don't know if this package is still available because I bought it on Alibai E Kualintons in Tao. And they had like two gift sets remaining. They were calling, I think she was calling it the Christmas gift set. I'm not sure. So maybe if you're interested, you could go check and see if this package is still available. This is how it comes packaged. And you get two for 3,900 as opposed to 5,600. Because if you're paying each differently, it will be 5,600, which I think is a good steal. Also, when it comes to beauty, I changed, not really, I changed up. I bought the Lancome foundation. I had used it, I think, two years ago, around 2017. And I liked it, I liked it, but I, I, I really don't know why I never bothered to buy another, um, this once it ran out. But I have revived my love for this foundation and it's absolutely amazing. The finish is amazing. It's actually what I have on. Absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. It went for 6,000 at Linton's, like, nearly skim I think nearly end at home too. After the year 6,000. I don't know why. I like expensive things but kuto your pesa in Hong so I don't know comment down below if you're like me like unapenda vitu expensive like zina kuitanga jina but before uto your door hi uloko umeongelesho because like even before I bought it for 6,000 I had to call Ben and he had to convince me like you deserve that foundation you know your skin you have been working on your skin your skin looks amazing why not finish it up with like a nice foundation um the last items when it came when it comes to beauty is of course lipsticks i am a big big fan of lipstick but i had mentioned this on my instagram that i have taken a liking to gloss i think like for the past two weeks i've just been purely exclusively wearing gloss because I don't know, it's so simple, it's so easy, it makes your face look so natural. Um, and the one that I've been wearing over and over again is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Praline. So this is what I've been wearing on my Instagram. It's what I have on, but you may say, she says in New York, 
so in case you're looking for a nice butter gloss my, the biggest thing with glosses for me ni to is the ile line ile tacky line after sometimes or glosses equal tacky equal to finish poor tamu smooth and this one smells like really butter so you need to get easy unos yango kwa traffic not a class but it's a certain kind of sweet if you know what i'm talking about comment down below in anuka to come your sweet exactly um the other one is this revlon also a very nude color i'm going to try swatch it this is how it looks like very nude let me try so we have revlon this is a very nude color it's the shade seductive sienna yeah seductive sienna so i usually use it with a gloss again a very very nice beautiful color um the other one is a red also from revlon this is a super lustrous matte lipsticks they retail for around 1k and 50 bob so in case you're interested probably you should go check it out this is oh this is a nice velvety red right it looks so gorgeous ah also a favorite and also other lipsticks that i've been dying for are this crayons and ink lipsticks this specific one is daredevil between this showstopper by revlon and this crayons and ink this two are my go-to reds right now so this is how the red looks like oh such a nice deep red can you see that this is how it looks like this is daredevil this is showstopper by revlon um and also this one from crayons and ink it's a nice purple e color i'm not sure if this is purple um this is in the shade alia oh that's nice i feel like i'm saying that for all the colors oh that's so nice so this is seductive sienna from revlon this is showstopper from revlon also a red crayons and ink daredevil and crayons and ink alia absolutely absolutely gorgeous so if i'm not probably wearing a gloss i'm probably wearing three uh four out of all the lip colors i've shown you and yeah that's it for all the items that i'm loving please do let me know in the comment section what you're interested in getting for yourself what did you get for black friday i would want to know that Ili, come about your store i'm a battle your item eco oh i haven't shown you like home decor stuff the first thing that i got is this mirror i'll try to show you guys is this mirror i changed up the mirror only because i felt like this one was bitter looking <laughs> it, it, it was only that it was just bitter looking it was originally its cost was i think around five thousand and something or 6k around that price then because of the tax sale because i got it from tac it went to how much was it five thousand and forty and then i also got like i bought it during the black friday sale itself when they were doing a 10 percent discount so i bought it for like four thousand five hundred so saved up a lot of money for this beautiful beautiful item also got a fake plant only because nime choka nime choka nime choka could take care of real plants that might change tomorrow so i took the other one to the balcony nikabakiana here this one was also a thousand bob and change but ukiaka discounted 10 percent it came to around something and also got myself a candle ah this one smells so nice it's watermelon and tropical blossom a candle and it smells really really nice in my key choma sometimes like i even sleep i take naps with it um just you know wafting it smells into the air and it smells like i think it even puts me into deeper slumber i might be wrong <laughs> that's it for all the items that i bought that i've been loving lately and i think that are worth every cent that i spent on the items let me know what you're loving down below yeah let me know what you got for black friday Sisi Wate, when you show up at an apple comment section, we might get something. Uh, also, let me know which items you're loving and which items from my collection you absolutely, absolutely love. Please do not forget to subscribe. Let's keep this family growing. I really do love you and appreciate you guys. I will see you guys next time.